So I've got some mineral samples down here on my table, and on the left I've got two samples of this mineral and two samples of this mineral. Now I know which minerals these are, and what I'm going to use are some common physical properties of minerals to compare these two to find some similarities and differences in the physical properties of these two minerals. So I'm going to make a little data table right here. And I'm looking at, first, the color. What is the color of each of these samples? The sample on the left looks a little bit kind of a, a pinkish rose color, and the sample on the right looks more white, maybe clear. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to record that. The one on the left, I'm going to call that rose, and the one on the right, I'll call white and record that for color. Next, I'm going to look at a property called luster. Luster has to do with the, the, the shininess, whether the minerals are shiny, they're dull, they're metallic. Um, and if I look at both of these, I can see that they have a very similar luster. They're both shiny, and I'm going to record that. So those are similarities between these two. They have a shiny luster. Next, I'm going to look at streak. And streak is exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to use a streak plate, which is this piece of tile right here. And I'm going to take each of these minerals, and I'm going to streak them across that streak plate, and then look at the color that's left behind by the mineral and record that information. So the first sample, the rose, the shiny rose on the left, if I streak that, doesn't appear to be anything. Let's zoom in on that. Let's take a really close look and see. Let's try that again. Doesn't seem to be anything being left behind that. So for streak, for that mineral sample, I'm going to record none. That mineral does not streak. Now we'll try the other one, the shiny white mineral that was on the right and let's streak that. Ah, very clear. That has a white streak. That left behind a white streak. So I'm going to go ahead and record that on my data table. Next, I'm going to look at a property called cleavage. And cleavage is how the mineral will break apart whether it will break apart smooth, and right away I can tell you, I can see on this one right here, the shiny uh, white mineral. Definitely when it breaks apart, it breaks apart along these lines, and you can see that's a nice straight, even line. Um, this mineral forms the shape of a prism. It, it has a really clean cleavage. So we're going to call that a clean, straight cleavage. Clean. And straight. The, ro the shiny rose on the left, when we look at that, it kind of has some straight edges-ish to it, but definitely not the very flat sides that we see on this piece. This one has more of a rough cleavage. It looks like it does break apart along some lines. I mean, you can see that's got, that's got a shape, but it's not clean. That's, that's much more of a rough cleavage. And then the final property that we're going to look at is hardness. What is the hardness of these mineral samples? Hardness is not, if I take a hammer to these minerals and smash them, will they break apart? Of course they will. Uh, hardness actually has to do with the scratchability of the minerals. And hardness is a very particular property. It actually has to do with whether minerals will scratch each other. How the minerals scratch each other. So I'm going to start with my rose, my kind of shiny rose piece on the left here. And I'm going to use the, the shiny white piece that, that has a nice cleavage to it. I'm going to use that and see if I can scratch. Well, that looks like it's scratched. Let's double check it. No, that looks like a fracture line in the, the mineral. Let's try another side here. 
Well, that looks like it left a scratch, but oh, it wiped right away. Let's take a closer look. Let me zoom in. Doesn't really seem to be scratching it. Let's try it the other way around. Let's take the, the rose piece and see if it will scratch one of the flat faces of the other piece. Oh, look at that. Scratched it right up. Let's see if we can wipe that off. No, that definitely, that's a deep scratch. So compared to each other, and this is how I'm going to record this one, the rose, the shiny rose piece, which does not have, oh, I said steak, call it steak there. That's wrong when it needs to be streak. The shiny rose that does not streak and it has a rough cleavage does not scratch when scratched by the other mineral. The white shiny piece that has a white streak and a clean straight cleavage line that one does get scratched. That one will scratch. And that's just compared to that. That's compared to each other. So what that tells me is that this mineral, the shiny rose, is harder than the white, shiny, clean piece. This is a softer mineral. This is a harder mineral. Um, you'll even notice that on my table here, and, and this has to do with cleavage, you'll see that there's small pieces that have broken off even as I'm working with this. And if we look closely, let's zoom right in at those and let's, let's look at cleavage because that's a great example of cleavage right there. If you look at that, you'll see that the smaller pieces have that really flat square, same shape as the larger piece. That is a, that's a very good property that you can use to identify minerals. Now I will tell you that the piece on the left, these two minerals over here, this is quartz. And the pieces on the right, white and shiny, are actually a mineral called calcite. Both of those are very common minerals on Earth's surface. But that's how I can use physical properties to find similarities and differences between two minerals. Um, and the best one there, the best differences there were the cleavage. One had a rough cleavage, the other one had a clean straight cleavage, and hardness. One of them scratched the other. One was definitely harder than the other one. Those are physical properties of minerals.